So thank you everyone for joining me today. My name is Michael Smith. I'm the National Consumer Education Manager of Genomi Canada. And yes, today I'm Hermie again <laughs> as I present another Genomi's Magical Machine Mystery Tour. So <gasps> what will the machine be today? So let's find out. Maybe you'll know by our clue from our Genomi HQ Instagram page. So, ooh, yes, that light. For another Genomi's Magical Machine Mystery Tour, what will the machine be? Well, it is the fabulous. Now, of course, I love all Genomi machines, but, oh, I must tell you, this one really has a special place in my heart. It is the, whoo, fabulous Genomi HD 3000. Look at that gorgeous machine. Now, I love, again, all Genomi machines. This HD3000 does come in white as well, but this is the HD3000BE, which you can see here. BE stands for Black Edition. I love it. You know, Genomi celebrates a uh, 100 years this year. And all the sewing machines in the, you know, past were always black metal. So I love this whole uh, black range of machines that really pays homage to those uh, beginner sewing machines, you know, from a uh, hundred years ago that they were all black then. So I love that a number of machines. We've got the HD 1000 that I did, oh, maybe about a month ago here on Genomi's Magical Machine Mystery Tour. Uh, that's also in the black edition. And then, ooh, we've got a very special, uh, HD 9 debuting in black as well. Uh, so again, there's a number of the black edition machines in the Genomi line. And we will go over the fabulous HD 3000 and why it is such a special machine for me. Oh, several years ago, uh, I was asked by my then boss, uh, Debbie Bates. Debbie, if you're watching, I miss you and I love you. <laughs> uh, Debbie, who actually hired me five years ago <laughs> uh, at Genomi, uh, Debbie said to me, Oh, do you know someone who would like this black machine. I said, yes, me. And I took it on a men's quilting retreat and fell in love with this machine and wrote several blogs on the Genomi Life blog about it, uh, which I will show you in just a minute. So yes, one reason why I loved it. Again, we're talking about HD 3000. So let's get into some little demos here. Ooh, there is so much that comes included with this machine. But one thing I thought I would start off at the top, you know, my sewing room is a disaster. Uh, can any of you relate? <laughs> it's like a bomb went off. So I couldn't find a whole big thing of denim. So I just have these little uh, scraps of denim here. But that's really all you need to test out the various stitches of your machine. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight layers of denim. And I'm just going to stack this all up neatly, trying not to rush too much, but you know, time is always my enemy here. So we've got a nice extra high presser foot lift here to accommodate lots of thick layers. Oh, like this eight layers of denim. Now, anytime I'm going to be doing thicker layers, then we want to lengthen our stitch. Here is our stitch width dial. This is our stitch length dial. So currently I have it to four. We could set it even about, usually I start with a three or even a 3.5, or again, I'll just move it up to four. And you will see, normally you think, oh gosh, that's a big, long basting stitch. But because of the depth, you really need that longer stitch and it doesn't look like a basting stitch at all. Now, when I start uh, sewing, especially these thicker layers, I always like to hold on to my thread tails, which is how I learned to sew like 30 some odd years ago. The instructor always said, hold on to your thread tails. Or, you know, we do have a uh, side thread cutter on most of our Genomi machines. Uh, from back to front, it's a cutter, but from front to back, it's actually a thread holder. Uh, you may be able to see my white threads right there on the beautiful LED lighting. Uh, so yes, I've got my white threads up here and I'm gonna try not to block the camera uh, because I always like to start cranking the uh, hand wheel and put the needle in the fabric first and then slowly we can start off sewing. We don't need to break any speed records here. So when you're sewing through thicker layers, you know, slow down a little bit. It's okay, it's no problem. So as I get sewing, boom, again, it's only a little sample, but you will see 
there we go. Beautiful threads in the front. And ooh, <laughs> I got, oh, I didn't put my foot down. That would help. <laughs> Let's start over again. After all that build up, oh my. Make sure it's because of the extra thick layers that yes, when you have your extra thick layers, make sure you put your foot down. <laughs> yes, so let's do that again because I will show you then how good it stitches. So no problem at all. Side thread cutter, there we go. Doesn't that look better? There's my stitches at the front. There's my stitches at the back. Doesn't that look beautiful? And again, that really doesn't look like that long of a stitch, does it? Again, that's at a four, which typically through a single layer of fabric may be a uh, basting stitch, but uh, with your thicker layers, no problem. And again, eight layers of denim. So this is one reason why I love the HD 3000. I did a jelly roll rug at my men's quilting retreat with this HD 3000, and it worked out so well, again, to accommodate all that extra thickness. Uh, but yes, let's give a little tour of the machine. So as I said, that's our width, that's our length, our reverse button, all of our stitch selection dial across here. We have 18 stitches, including a one-step automatic buttonhole. And oh, the goodies included with this machine. I was so impressed. When I flip up the lid here, you will see one other thing I love about this machine is, again, if you're getting this as maybe an entry level machine or a, uh, you know, a step or two above entry level, it's so great because this sewing guide is right here. They give you all the stitches across here. And then it gives you the, again, the width, suggested width that you set it at, the length, and again, what the stitch is, in this case, like the buttonhole, there's our straight stitch, is stitch number 13, uh, our little lightning zigzag, which is great to use for knits, uh, stitch number 14. It's saying our width should be between three and four. Uh, the length, uh, they're saying is none, it doesn't really matter. Uh, our thread tension between three and six, and then what presser foot to use. So they really give you a lot of those uh, instructions, again, uh, sort of beginner basics, rate right in the machine as well. Now, of course, there is full instructions in your instruction manual, and we have a little extra sheet, ooh, of some of the extra goodies included with your machine, which I will get into in just a minute. So again, all the information you have in your instruction manual that you have here built into the lid of the machine and give you special instructions, again, when you're using that automatic uh, buttonhole foot, for example, and all of your presser feet. Oh, you have quite a few uh, included in this machine. Now let me get up way high <laughs> because look at this. I was so impressed that when you're again fighting for space and you want to keep everything organized, maybe I'll just raise my, there we go. Look at all that. All of that built-in storage for all of your included presser feet. I love this. Even a spot, this package of needles, a variety of needles come included, and there's even a spot here. And in your instruction manual, they tell you where everything goes as well. Uh, the quilting guide bar here, there's even a spot for that. So how cool is that? Uh, now this little knob here will adjust the uh, pressure on your presser foot. So when you're sewing those thicker layers, uh, another tip to help them feed more readily if you need is to lighten the pressure on your presser foot. And then here is our uh, thread tension for our needle tension, then we can adjust it. Uh, the lower number means less tension and the higher number means more tension. Now here is the regular horizontal spool pin, but also included is this vertical spool pin which I'm just going to put in this little notch here. Because, you know, one thing I wanted to share with you all, a lot of times I see on social media, people will say like, oh, when I use the Janome pre-wounds, for example, in my embroidery, uh, sometimes I'm left with a little bit of thread and they don't know what to do with it. Well, I keep mine in this little bobbin saver here and I keep every little last thing because I love saving like everything. So I make use of every little, like, look at that. That's not much thread. The embroidery machine, you know, tells me, oh, I can't complete the embroidery. 
uh, with that amount of thread. So it tells me to change the bobbin, but I don't want to waste this thread. So this thread I used for any kind of hand sewing, any sort of hand basting that I do, or I put it on, like for example, this little vertical spool pin, and then this is what I will use. Yes, I end up uh, changing my thread quite a lot, but I end up uh, using it, especially in my needle thread, so I can see when it's going to run out. And I use it again for my little samples, uh, little samples like that, <laughs> you know, just any little bit of things you do, or I use it for some piecing, which I will show you as well in just a minute. Uh, so yes, up here we've got the zipper foot. Oh, you know, I just put hand cream on, so it's hard for me to pull these out. Oh, uh, we've got the zipper foot, which is the E foot. And then we've got, oh, the foot I really want to demo is this G foot, is our blind hem foot. So we'll pull that out. So we've got the zipper foot, we've got the D foot, which is the rolled hem foot. Now I demonstrated all of these presser feet on the A to Z with Janome series. So you can go back to Janome HQ IGTV icon on Instagram or the Janome HQ YouTube channel to see all of those. Uh, the C foot that uh, we use for the over edge and particularly, oh, here, this stitch number 18 is great to use on knit fabric, for example. That still provides that stretch, but it allows you to finish off that edge very neatly and professionally. So that's the C foot. So that's included. Ooh, also included is the B foot, which is the buttonhole foot. So this is the foot you're going to use when you want to sew on a button using a zigzag stitch, but it also will allow you to do a buttonhole on any size. It has a groove on the back, much like our F, our satin stitch foot. Uh, there's a little channel down the middle there of the foot, so it lets you do the zigzag or satin stitch on the right side and then on the left side to complete your buttonhole. So this B buttonhole foot is included to allow you to do one of any size. Ooh, I'll just have to put this down <laughs> in order to... Again, because my hands are a little slippery, uh, I just want to show you again all that there, the the E foot, the zipper foot. Uh, and again, I demoed this on A to Z with Janome. Uh, so you can go back to review that series on how to do all of those demos. Uh, but also included with your presser feet. So they all fit up there on the top, which I thought was, again, so brilliant to keep it all there organized. But here in your ooh, little secret stash of your accessory drawer that, oh yes, we've got the automatic buttonhole foot. So again, I demoed this on the A to Z with Janome series. It was the B episode uh, for button and buttonhole. So here is an automatic buttonhole foot. So it allows you to place a button up to an inch in the back, which is just like the, whoops, just like that. And then, whoops, there, just like that. So then you put in a button, uh, up to an inch and that way automatically it will stitch that same size button over and over and over again so and you can even adjust the width of the zigzag here so here is a, a slightly loose zigzag this would be great on knits especially to again allow you for that stretch or there is a slightly more um, tighter uh, zigzag. So then this could be for any uh, fabrics, you know, regular wovens uh, as well. So you can make some adjustments there. Oh, Sandra Mugman, hello. It is great to see you. Uh, but again, perfectly even, same size. So that is great. Uh, and of course, we've got our other little screwdrivers that we need, the little brush to clean out our bobbin area, a uh, seam ripper. Uh, we've got four of our fabulous Janome J bobbins, our spool caps, uh, those are all included. So, other things included, though, as I mentioned. So that in itself is a lot. But, oh yes, there is a special value-added accessories sheet. So it's good when you first get a machine, whatever it is, that you go through and make sure that you have everything included. So look at your value-added accessories. Again, I was so impressed of what comes with this machine. So it comes with our quilting attachment kit that I've demoed and talked about on various other Janome uh, Magical Machine Mystery Tour, where we have, oh, this is the Open Toe F2 
two foot, a uh, satin stitch foot. There is the quarter inch foot with a guide. This is our adjustable metal seam guide, which I absolutely love. So you can do your five eighths of an inch or quarter of an inch, move it to however, wherever you wish that attaches to your needle plate. Uh, there is the open toe uh, darning foot. So if you want to do free motion quilting, you can lower the feed dogs here of your HD 3000 uh, BE, and you could do free motion quilting. There is the even feed foot when you want to quilt through all layers uh, or match plaids or velvets. Uh, here here is another quilting guide bar that you can clip into the even feed foot. So again, you can do those parallel rows of quilting. And in fact, our fabulous Celine uh, did a Janome America Facebook Live uh, on the ditch quilting uh, guides that are uh, available. Uh, so you can go back to the Janome Sewing Machines Facebook page to watch that, or I have just uploaded that episode to the Janome HQ YouTube channel. So all of Celine's Facebook Lives that she's been doing uh, ooh, for several months now with Janome uh, America on the Janome Sewing Machines Facebook page. I've been loading all of those as videos on the Janome HQ YouTube channel. So you can go back to review those for more fun uh, techniques and uh, using all your Janome feet and attachments. Uh, also bonus uh, value added another pack of a variety of needles. So isn't that great? You can never have enough. And then of course, when you finally do use all of those as well, you can get more from your Janome dealer. Uh, bobbins, again, more of our fabulous Janome J bobbins. Believe it or not, there is a little rubberized compound in these Janome J bobbins. So they, Keep your machine a little quieter. They prevent the birds nesting and the backlashing. Oh, I don't know if you can see the little J there. So we know it's an authentic Janome J bobbin. Uh, yes, Celine says since last June. Yes, she's been doing her Janome America Facebook Lives for several months now. And of course, back by popular demand, everyone's just loving it because Celine, uh, I won't even say how long she has been sewing, but many, many, many years. Uh, so, so knowledgeable. Uh, and has been with Janome for many, many years. Now, when we need more bobbins, oh yes, we could get clear, but also these special Janome 100th anniversary bobbins in the beautiful pink are available in a pack of 25. Or I thought, oh, how beautiful is this? red bobbins to go with your black machine to pick up on that accent of the red Janome name. Doesn't that look beautiful? Uh, oh, since 1981, Celine has been with Janome. So yes, she definitely knows her stuff. <laughs> Uh, so yes, or another way to store your bobbins here. How about the Janome bobbin saver uh, to fit all your regular bobbins in there. So again, many options to double check with your Janome dealer to stay organized. So this is all what comes included. The bobbin saver does not come included with your machine, but all of this value added and including the Ooh, I'll do this is the F foot, the satin stitch foot. So this is great to use with the decorative stitches. Again, it's got that groove in the, the backside, so it allows the uh, extra stitches to form. So that's great. And this ultra glide foot. Oh yes, I want to demo this. Ooh, Sandra Mugman says, I got the bobbins and I love them. I use different colors for cotton embroidery etc. threads. Yes, or cotton, comma, <laughs> embroidery threads. Yes, Sandra, that is one reason why a lot of people like the different colored of bobbins. They keep, oh, their polyester threads on one color and their cotton threads on another color. So then they can, again, stay more organized. Uh, yes. Uh, and then also people say, oh, they're easier to find when they fall on the floor, <laughs> which is true. So I just have removed my regular presser foot, and I'm about to snap on this ultra glide foot. Now, some people call this a Teflon foot. Well, Teflon is a registered trademark of the DuPont company, and this is not Teflon. This is an ultra glide foot. It is a special compound uh, for Janome. Uh, it is, again, not uh, not Teflon. Ooh, uh, Cheryl says, Celine, you got to Janome before me. <laughs> Cheryl's first Janome was in 1984, the Janome 6000. Fabulous. 
uh, it's wonderful again where we can all share the Janome love. I've been using Janome for 30 years, which was one reason I fell in love with the company and was so excited to join five years ago. Uh, so yes, Ultra Glide. Here is our vinyl, our slippery fabrics. So the Ultra Glide foot allows it to feed more evenly. So this, uh, oh, I think was a three stitch length. There was my longer four. And again, because I'm going through thicker layers, I've got three layers of vinyl here. So does that look like a four to you? No, not at all. So again, don't think uh, that, oh, just because it's a longer stitch, it's going to be like a long basting stitch. It really depends your thicknesses. You definitely need a longer stitch going through the thick so your ultra glide foot here again I'll do the same kind of demo just folding it up will help you go through again those thicker layers so even if I move to a three now something else that's gonna help you now look at that it just glides through like oh it's amazing so again any sort of vinyl leather cork beautiful. So there, that was at a three. So that's probably about as small as I would go with this uh, thicker layers, because then that's one reason why when people are having trouble and I ask, oh, what's your stitch length? And they're using the two, 2.4, that's standard. And it's like, that's a little tight for such a thick, uh, dense fabric. So increase your stitch length and it will be okay. Uh, something else to also help start your thicker layers is this button shank plate, which I have demoed on various other Janome's Magical Machine Mystery Tours. Uh, it comes with some machine, but it's also available in a separate blister pack. And it goes at the back of your presser foot to then help keep it level. So if I have my big thickness of fabric here in the front, and without that button shank plate, my presser foot is now like up at an angle and that's harder to feed that way certainly your presser foot wants to stay level but when it's up like this uh you know just like your car going up a hill it goes a little slower it's not as responsive this is how you end up with a uh, bent and broken needles so by keeping that presser foot level you're going to get over the that hump of those thicker layers so start with that button shank plate at the back of your foot and you will feed it much more easily that way. And I have a uh, video on the Janome uh, tips and tricks um, playlist on the Janome HQ YouTube channel. So when I talk about this uh, sewing with thicker layers, uh, also you can go to Janome Life blog to review those blogs about sewing with thicker layers. Uh, now, yes, as usual, time is going by. Oh, I could just demo all day on this machine. I love it. Uh, but I wanted to say this G foot is the adjustable blind hem foot and this little dial here you can adjust and it moves back and forth now the g foot i've demoed many times on Janome hq magical machine mystery tour and again you can go to the a to z with Janome series to uh, see the demo of the nine millimeter g foot there is the blind hem stitch number eight which we would typically use and there it sells um, the G foot. But over here, I thought this was so cool. This is about a quarter of an inch seam, or it could be any kind of distance, with your G foot. And it tells you use your uh, width of 1.5 to 3. And there you will see, oh, let me put this back. <laughs> Oh, so much camera work. This is where again, oh, I wish I had Amanda here. <laughs> uh, but yes, so when I attach this G foot, I thought this was just brilliant. So on my needle plate here and on the bobbin cover of the HD 3000, we have, oh, there we go. We'll see the numbers. So here's an eighth of an inch and right here is a quarter of an inch. So we can line up this adjustable guide with that quarter of an inch line and all of a sudden we now have a quarter of an inch piecing foot. Now again, we have a quarter of an inch piecing foot with a guide here included in our bonus quilting attachment kit, but 
Look at that. I was so impressed. <laughs> now, these are all my squares for Jennifer Tryon's uh, quilt along of her Lottie quilt. If any of you have been following along us there, Amanda actually finished her quilt. Uh, I'm still catching up since I was on vacation. But look, if you can see, I'm measuring. That is a half of an inch from stitching line to stitching line. We're making half square triangles. So we drew our pencil line down the center and we're stitching a quarter of an inch from each side. Do you see? There is my quarter of an inch one side. There is my quarter of an inch from another side. That is perfect. So I was so excited to experiment with this. And you know, I was asked in one of the Facebook lives that uh, Jennifer and Amanda and I did, uh, what machine I will use to sew my uh, half score triangles and what I'll use to sew my quilts. So I said, oh, I'll probably use the Continental M7 with the HP uh, AccuFeed Flex Foot. I really love that. But there's so many options. Junomi has so many options available for our quarter of an inch piecing. So when I got this machine out and was playing with it, this is something I didn't do at my men's quilting retreat. I did an experiment with piecing a quarter of an inch with it. So I was excited to revisit this machine and discover this because I thought this is great. Again, I'm using the G adjustable blind hem foot, but now I'm using it with a regular straight stitch and I'm doing my quarter of an inch piecing. So even though we do have a dedicated quarter of an inch foot included with your machine, you now have another option as well. So how perfect is that? And again, I take my little seam gauge. There's my perfect half of an inch. Again, a quarter of an inch on each side. And because it's an adjustable guide, if you want that elusive scant quarter, you can just turn your guide a little bit more to the left to make a more narrow seam. So you've got a lot of flexibility, again, with your fabulous HD 3000. Uh, oh, and when I talked about the C foot, again, doing that stretch over edge stitch to accommodate, uh, again, using the, oops, using the C foot and stitch number 18 will help you finish off that edge. And again, nice and stretchy to accommodate Oh, not bad. <laughs> Didn't quite match the stripes, but not bad. Actually, there is pretty good. And again, just looks like a regular seam. But again, you've got that built-in stretch. So there's a lot of flexibility that you can do with this machine. Now, it does have a built-in needle threader as well. And one thing I wanted to point out, Janome has these fabulous, look at that, ooh, fabulous optic magnifiers. Now, even though this post will not go up in your machine to stay there, you can always hold them, which lately, I must admit, now that I turned 50, <laughs> I've been uh, using these optic magnifiers. There's three different uh, settings. There's 20, 40, and 60 degree magnification. And it comes with this little post, which for some machines, you know, clips up into the machine. So then, oh, it allows you to see your needle area, and then you just, you know, swing it out of the way. Uh, there is no space in your HD 3000 Black Edition here to attach the this holder, but even lately to help me with the um, threading, the built-in needle threader to make sure I have the needle raised to the highest position, I use the optic magnifiers to really get in close of that eye of the needle. So when I've got my needle threader down and then that little, ooh, I know it's hard to see on camera, that little wire comes out of the needle threader to then uh, grab the thread and pull it through the eye of the needle. These optic magnifiers really help out. So again, they're not really designed to use with this machine, but just holding it with your hand in front, you really get a great up close view. So these are available in a separate blister pack uh, from your Janome dealer. Oh, Sandra Mugman says, I love these magnifiers so much. Oh yeah. Yes, I agree that I find I'm using them like everything else. I'm using them more and more the more I have them. Uh, and of course, this is your foot pedal that comes with your machine. And of course, I've got it on that 
Janome so comfortable non-slip foot pedal pad that keeps whatever your presser power foot in place. It doesn't matter what kind of flooring you have. It works with all flooring. Uh, look at that. It's on an angle and it's not going anywhere. Uh, I've got laminate flooring here in my uh, sewing room at home, but you know, at the office at the Janome Sewing and Learning Center, we have a, a low pile carpet. And sometimes the presser feet, you know, or the, the power foot control even creeps on those uh, floors. So by having this non-slip foot pedal pad, it keeps the foot pedal in place. So that is fabulous. Now I did mention, and of course time is going by so quickly, but I mentioned, ooh, very briefly, let's wake up my computer here, ooh, that I wanted to show you all when I mention about the Janome Life blog. That's a really great resource for all things Janome. So on your computer, if you type in your browser, Janome Life, and then we have the search box over here to the right, and type in whatever the subject you would like to find out more about. So I've typed in HD 3000, and up comes all the related posts to that. So specifically, I'm going to scroll down. Now you'll see we even mentioned the HD3000 uh, when we talked about our partnership with Sew for Home and they design products and projects to use with our various Janome machines. So there was a mention, but then specifically here, heavy duty, you say, question mark. <laughs> uh, I wrote a blog about the many heavy duty machines in the Janome line. Our fabulous uh, dealers in Stratford at the Sew and Save Center, uh, they had the HD or HD 3000 Black Edition machine in their store when I visited. So I did a little blog about it there. Oh, there, I sewed a jelly roll rug at my men's quilting retreat that was back in 2018 uh, on this uh, HD 3000 and I totally fell in love with it. I also made a tote bag that I blogged about uh, at that men's quilting retreat. So you can go back to review those. And here, heavy duty sewing from August. So you click on the blog and then scroll through to review. Oh yes, we've got a beautiful black, uh, uh, what am I, cover <laughs> uh, to, I was reading a comment and that totally throwed me off. Uh, but yes, we've got a beautiful uh, hard cover. So that is great. And then there is our beautiful machine. This is when I, again, I was at the uh, men's quilting retreat. There I'm talking about many aspects of the machine. Oh, there's an up close of that needle threader. So that's always a great function to have some of the attachments, but specifically, oh, I've got a little video there of how quiet the, it is to wind the bobbin but I wanted to show you mainly here I am sewing the eight layers of denim and I included this little video, which again, you all saw it live, but there I am sewing eight layers of denim in that uh, blog post. So it's really good to go back to our Janome Life blog, again, for all things Janome, and we've got various links and again, various you know tips and tricks, pictures, and including some videos. So that will give you a little bit more uh, education about whatever the subject is. So then let me ooh, pull back here. Oh, yes. And when we talked about beautiful accents, red accents, how about our Janome scissor case in red? We all need beautiful scissors to use with whatever magical Janome machine we have. So yes, that's also available uh, just in time for Christmas too. <laughs> so yes, I will flip around and say thank you to everyone. And of course, oh yes, our beautiful katana thread. I will mention uh, Madeira katana thread that of course I was just using my little bits of white thread, but yes, we've got a thread pack here of the neutrals in cotton or the katana. How about these multicolor? Wouldn't they look beautiful on your beautiful uh, HD 3000 black edition machine or any Janome machine for that matter? So you can really have some fun with no matter what your project is. These are beautiful uh, 
uh, colors for the aerofill thread that's a good quality uh, 50 weight thread so your general all-purpose sewing thread so any of those threads are available from your Janome dealer uh, regardless of what kind of sewing you are doing so uh, if you need those last minute uh, Christmas gifts uh, for your sewing friend or just even yourself, you know, again, visit your Janome dealer for details. Oh, Shane is here. Hello. Excellent. So, yes, let me flip around and say hello and thank you everyone for joining me today. As usual, oh my gosh, it was just a whirlwind. I could go on and sew all day. <laughs> it's wonderful. So, thank you everyone for joining me today. And I will be here next week, uh, you know, after Christmas. But yes, I will be here. Can you believe we'll be building up to a new year then? But I will be here next Wednesday as well. So, I hope to see you all for another Janome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour then. So, yeah, so as Sandra is saying, uh, Merry Christmas. Thank you for sharing with us and looking forward to more in the new year. Yes, thank you so much, Sandra. I, again, I have absolutely loved if there's anything good that's come out of COVID, it's uh, this is why we started doing all these Facebook lives and Instagram lives as a way of staying connected when we can't all get in person. Uh, so this has been wonderful to share the Janome love regardless of what's going on in the world. So thank you everyone for your support. It's been absolutely wonderful. And of course, we're going to continue not only next week but oh next year and there's lots in store so thank you everyone for joining me today and have a fabulous day and have a very merry christmas thank you bye